Hello Murdoch caregivers. My name is Dr Andrew Wissen. I am the Medical Director at St John of God Murdoch. On behalf of the St John of God Murdoch Medical Advisory Committee, we wish to let you know how important we feel the discussion around COVID vaccination and uptake of the vaccination is. Our Murdoch Medical Advisory Committee is made up of over 500 years of combined clinical experience across a wide range of medical and surgical subspecialties. Our members hold roles in addition as VMOs at this hospital, uh, including medical advisory board members, members of the OSMAT team, clinical researchers and chairs of specialist societies. All of the members of the Medical Advisory Committee feel strongly that vaccination for COVID-19 is not only important but essential for all healthcare workers. Here's what they have to say. The risk of getting coronavirus complications is less than, for example, taking the pill or driving to work. But because we're accustomed to taking the contraceptive pill or driving to work and we realise, yes, there are occasional people that get blood clots from the contraceptive pill and yes, sometimes unfortunately there's accidents and even death from driving to work, we understand that and we accept it because we understand the utility of these um, things in our life. So it is recommended that if you're thinking of having a baby, if you're wanting to get pregnant, um, prepare yourself and be vaccinated well before you get pregnant. However, there is good research to suggest that it is safe to have the vaccine even if you are about to get pregnant or if you've had the vaccine and you suddenly find that you're pregnant, there is no concern. I had the COVID vaccine as soon as it was possibly available to me. I was concerned about catching the COVID disease at work and then bringing the virus home to my family. The risks that uh, any sort of vaccination I felt posed to me were far outweighed by any of the risks that I possibly posed to my family of catching this disease whost at work. We are a, um, a, um, a developed nation. We've been exposed to immunisation and vaccination since childhood and this really is no different. So um, it's a very safe and very effective um, vaccination. These vaccines have been closely scrutinised and approved for use by the major regulatory bodies around the world, including our NTGA. Each body has concluded that the benefits of each vaccine far outweighs the risks of the rare significant vaccine associated side effects. All the vaccinations were studied in long-term clinical trials that uh, basically showed that the risk of adverse events was low and ongoing uh, data has been compiled in registries. And while there's a very low risk of adverse reactions such as clot, uh, this risk is much lower uh, than certainly getting COVID itself or much lower than actually the risk of suffering uh, a car accident uh, resulting in serious injury every year. I know like most of you there have been concerns but a lot of this has been from the media. When I looked into it you realised that the research behind the vaccine and the technology for uh, developing it has been going on for many years. So really the only change is applying this to the COVID vaccine. And it was achieved in a short period of time only because of collaboration of amazing scientists across the world. Yes, the coronavirus vaccine has only been around for a few years. Yes, it's incredible that we have it because we didn't even know we'd have an effective vaccine. But all vaccines that have been used in the past with all types of technology have never led to any long-term side effects. I think it's very important that caregivers get vaccinated. Um, vaccination is really our only way out of the current pandemic. Um, and I'll just take you through the reasons why I've been vaccinated and every doctor I know has had two vaccines. So, <coughs> 
This data that's coming out of the US and also the UK and Israel where there's very high vaccination rates show that if you've had two vaccines, and it doesn't matter if it's an AstraZeneca or a Pfizer vaccine, then your chance of being admitted to hospital, to admitted to intensive care or uh, require ventilation reduce by over 90%. So that's incredibly compelling. Uh, on top of that, what a lot of people don't talk about is the fact that COVID-19 unfortunately produces long-term symptoms in lots of patients. So 50% of patients get symptoms from COVID-19 and of those, at least 10% complain of ongoing symptoms up to three months and beyond their infection has resolved. And these symptoms include tiredness, lethargy, joint aches and pains. It's called long COVID. I think here in Western Australia, we've been very lucky to have very little COVID up to this stage, but we all know colleagues and friends overseas who work in healthcare who've had a different uh, experience. They've been ventilating their colleagues, looking after their colleagues. Pretty much everyone I know in the UK has had a, to look after someone who's been affected by COVID. We have a golden opportunity here to get vaccinated, prevent this from happening, look after each other, look after and protect our colleagues and our friends. So I just encourage you all to get vaccinated and be safe. I think as uh, care caregivers as, uh, and any healthcare workers, we should all um, be getting vaccinated because we have got a duty of care to our patients and primarily we don't want to be putting them at any increased risk and, and um, we want to reduce the chance of us transmitting this virus onto the patients that are entrusting us, uh, their care to us. I want you to remember the core values of St John of God, which are compassion, hospitality, excellence, respect and justice. And if you take just a couple of those, hospitality and respect, I think you do need to think of those around you and making a decision not to be vaccinated is unfair on those around you. As a caregiver also, we've got a duty of care to our patients. We first do no harm. So imagine if you're a caregiver that's not vaccinated, you have COVID and you infect patients or you know, one patient, multiple patients, and that patient ultimately ends up passing away. And that's happening in Australia. So as a caregiver, that will be absolutely devastating. I think vaccination for um, this virus is uh, vitally important for our, our patients, for our community for our staff, to protect our families. Um, and probably the best way to return to a more normal life, to be able to travel again and to protect our economy for the future. It's important that we are uh, a big supporter of vaccination to our patients and to our families and, and to anybody who wants to listen. Uh, I think we really need to promote vaccination. I think we need to be able to answer people's questions. Um, about their fears around vaccination. Protective wall across the border of WA gets breached, we are going to be in big trouble as we have one of the lowest vaccination rates in the world.